Imagine you're driving. You pull up to a red light, and as you come to a stop, you hear the sound of screeching brakes. You look in the rearview mirror just in time to see the driver behind you, cell phone in hand, with a look of horror in his eyes. You brace. At the moment of impact, your head snaps back and then forward. Ouch. This is called a whiplash, and it often leads to head or neck pain. Whiplash is a type of neck sprain, and as with other sprains, with a little rest, it should heal completely in a few days. But sometimes the whiplash pain doesn't heal. When an injury of this kind persists, it's referred to as chronic whiplash syndrome. In many countries, this syndrome has become an epidemic, with up to 10% of accident victims becoming permanently disabled. The strange thing is, studies have shown that there's no structural basis for chronic whiplash syndrome. In other words, the body heals, but for some reason, the pain persists. A group of researchers thought the answer to this medical mystery might be found in the far reaches of northern Europe. Lithuania is a small country on the Baltic Sea known for beautiful scenery and great basketball teams. It's the national sport. But one thing you won't find in Lithuania is chronic whiplash. They have cars, they have roads, and they have rear-end collisions, but no persistent neck pain. The scientists evaluated hundreds of rear-end collision victims and followed their recovery. Many of the victims had neck pain immediately after the accident. But one year later, their symptoms were no different from members of the general population. Chronic whiplash simply doesn't exist in Lithuania. But if car accidents don't cause chronic whiplash, what does? Researchers in Germany conducted a brilliant and slightly crazy experiment to find out. They recruited volunteers for a car crash study. The participants were placed in the driver's seat of one car and slammed from behind by another car. Except they weren't, actually. The whole thing was fake or as the scientists call it, a placebo collision. How do you fake a car accident? The researchers smashed a bottle to simulate the sound of a crash and through a complicated set of pulleys and a ramp, the test subject's car moved forward slightly. There was no actual contact from the other car, but the participants thought they had been rear-ended. The sneaky scientists even scattered broken glass on the ground to further make it seem like the car had been hit. Three days after the fake collision, 20% of the participants had neck pain. Four weeks later, 10% of them still had symptoms. Their pain was real, but there was no structural damage to their bodies. There couldn't have been, because there was no actual impact to the car. The pain didn't come from the participants' necks, but from something in their brains. Belief. They believed that they had been in a collision, and they believed that chronic whiplash was a possible side effect. The Lithuanians didn't share that belief. Because chronic whiplash isn't a phenomenon in their country, it didn't even occur to the car crash victims in Lithuania that their pain could persist. So it didn't. Why would believing in chronic whiplash lead to actual chronic whiplash? The answer to that is in Chapter 3. But for now it's clear that our brains are powerful and complex enough to generate and maintain pain. It's counterintuitive because the pain feels like it's coming from our bodies, but it's neuroplastic pain, and it's coming from our brains. That's actually good news, though, because if your brain could give you pain, it can also take it away. Back pain and whiplash are just a couple of chronic conditions often caused by neuroplastic pain. I have stories and studies about so many more, including headaches, stomach pain, pelvic pain, joint pain, nerve pain, irritable bowel syndrome, and repetitive strain injury. I won't go into the details of each one, but my team and I have successfully treated all of them with pain reprocessing therapy. In each case, patients experience physical symptoms, but physical treatments don't help. By targeting the brain instead of the body, patients can finally get relief from their pain.